In this video, I'm going to continue on with another example of how to tell the difference between a fact-based term and a non-fact-based term, i.e. a tangible contract term and a non-tangible contract term. Here you see we have a two-word sentence, a claim. Let's look at the word claim. Can you and I certify what that is? Well, certainly, with the certainty. I can make a claim. I know that. I've done it. I've performed it. I am with the performance of the claim creations, for sure. How about A? Can I make an A in the scenario that's being presented with these two words? Now, I can draw an A. This is a tangible contract word because it represents a fact-based term. It's not fact because it hasn't been positioned correctly. If it were to be positioned correctly, one way to do it would be to do this. And that would mean for the claim. But it hasn't. It's just dangling there. This A, we don't have a tangible contract with A. It's just a movement in our minds, a thought, a concept, a theory. Therefore, it is an adverb and it's modifying this tangible contract word claim into a verb, a verb of thinking. Now the verb of thinking is a claim of what? There's nothing, there's nothing there. So therefore it is a dangling participle verb. It's a verb that's dangling there with no closure. Now you can make a correct sentence structure for a claim of the facts is with the validation by a claimant. That's a correct sentence structure. All of these facts, and I'll underline the facts, have been positioned correctly because they have positionals and lodials setting them up. We have our cause, a consequence. Now we have our verb of the thinking, and we have the possessive and authority after the verb of thinking. The verb of thinking has very carefully been positioned after the cause and the consequence. Because remember, the first video in this series, you have to have two facts in order to start a claim, a correct sentence structure claim, and be able to draw the straight geometric level plane line of the thought of the cogitation. So you have for a claim of the facts, now you can position with the correctness your verb of the thinking after the cause and the consequence, the two facts, so you can continue along that same straight level plane geometric line into the possessive and authority with the validation by a claimant. The claimant is the authority, of course, this whole thing. Validation is what you must possess in order to make a claim of the facts. Whereas up here, it's just adverb verb. Nothing's been positioned, it's just thinking. It's all thinking and modification in your mind. Whereas down here, everything is correct and it's been positioned with the correctness to make a claim of the facts with the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge, performance. Thank you very much for watching. I'll make a few more of these. Hopefully drive the point home. I hope this helps.